which is nice to have because most of the time I'm dry and crusty. Hey guys, today we're going to be doing another 2019 beauty favourites video and today it's going to be all about the face and the butt ass. So, we're going to start off with a couple of body products first and then we'll jump into the face products. First, we are going to talk about this amazing body scrub and this is the Smoothie Breakfast Scrub um, by Soap and Glory. And I use these all the damn time. Like, there's always one of these in my shower. So, this is what the inside looks like. This is a brand new one. I didn't want to show you guys my manky one that I've got in the shower already. Because I always have a backup of this. Um, it is oat, shea butter, and sugar body smoother. So, basically, you use it like an exfoliator, but... It just smells delicious, like... I could look at and eat it. <laughs> so yummy. And it's great for exfoliating like your um, elbows, your knees, if you've got any dry skin as well. It's so good just to give your body a wash with. And you don't need much of it as well to really like leather and exfoliate the skin. So I would definitely recommend that to you guys. Another one is the Bomb Bomb Factory Gelato Scrub. This is delicious like I don't think I've ever had a body scrub that smells like it so that is how cute it is think of ice cream and lollies this brand does everything like candy and ice cream and just oh, yum like having that lid off at the moment it's just wafting around and I actually just want to go to the supermarket right now and get some ice cream Maybe like cookies and cream ice cream, but this just smells so damn good. And these ones here, this is made in New Zealand, um, which is really cool. And I think that they do most of their stuff like sweet inspired. So this is another little like whipped body butter type scrub that you can pop in the shower and just exfoliate your body. So that is the other body product. Now we are going to get on to my facial products, so let's start with taking makeup off. My all-time favourite makeup remover, this is for when I cannot be bothered doing anything. Like, after I get home, after work, a lot of the time I'm exhausted, I've had a long day dealing with crazy people. Like, we get a lot of intense customers coming into the store, I'm not gonna lie. So, I really like this makeup remover. This is the Garnier Micellar Oil Infused Cleaning Water. So, all you do, shake it like that so it's all mixed together. Put it on like a flannel if you're being lazy like me, or cotton pads. I try not to use disposable products like cotton pads and stuff though, unless I absolutely have to, like if I'm doing like freelance artistry or something for people's weddings and blah 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 but for myself I just chuck this on top of a flannel or a face cloth whatever you like to call it and then take off all my makeup and then I can give myself like a proper cleanse because this gets all your waterproof makeup off like your mascara, lips, eyeliner gets it off super quick so I really enjoyed that and I think there's a couple of different colors so this one here is the sensitive skin one which I have sensitive skin so that's why I really like that and then you also have this here I've got one in the bathroom at the moment but again it looks so damn manky I didn't want to show you guys so this is a new one and it's box this is the 16 brand peach soda cleansing balm so basically it turns into like an oil on your face so it's a cleansing balm that kind of melts on the skin you only need a very very small amount so what I do is I use this first take off my makeup then I will properly clean my skin with this because I've got dry skin having oils on my skin is great to nourish it and really hydrate it again but this is just like a deep cleanse every time you use it so I really enjoy that and you don't need much of it so it lasts quite a long time as well which is good and they're so affordable these as well like so affordable so the other two makeup removers that I'm really enjoying at the moment then we have this, my favourite moisturiser at the moment. So, I'm going to butch the name, I'm so sorry. This is Aqua Divida or Aqua Divida, have you like two 
pronounce it um, these are natural based products which are great so this is a pineapple enzyme moisturizer really nice for hydration for me personally I have a really weird thing about moisturizer I don't know why but I don't like the feeling of thick moisturizer it freaks me out I don't like when my skin can't breathe I don't really even like moisturizing my body so I like the fact that I feel really deeply hydrated when I use this moisturizer smells delicious as well which is so good um, but when I put it on my skin I it like it absorbs so quickly so you feel hydrated but it doesn't feel like you've got a pound of hydration and moisturizer just clugging up your skin so I really really like this I've actually got quite a few of their skincare products that I'm using at the moment their serums were really nice as well and their shea butter yes so good so that is my moisturizer that I have been using um, then we have sunscreen so this Mecha Cosmetica to say face SPF 50 sunscreen is what I use when I'm not at work so if I'm at work I'm inside all day I don't put sunscreen on I know a lot of people might tell me that I'm still bad but hey that's just what I do with this here I use this every single day that I may potentially be outside at some stage or my days off I'll chuck it on along with my skincare because I find that it's a really nice skincare based sunscreen so it doesn't make you look really oily and just not that nice like it's a really nice lightweight sunscreen so I really like this is my sun protection then we have a spray Mario Badesco this one here is my favorite like chuck on spray if my skin's feeling a little bit dry or I need like a boost of hydration or just a refreshing mist I use this so I think I have three of them on the go at the moment like I've got one in my drawers one in my kit and one floating which is this one here but yeah I love these they're just nice and refreshing and I use the rose water one yes okay then we have another Mario Badesco product this one here it is the drying lotion I don't use this very often I am very blessed and I don't get many pimples I do get blackheads all the time but for pimples I don't get many of those so I have this in my cupboard just waiting to be used basically you take a cotton tip and just dunk it down into the pink part put it on your spots sleep in it and then you wake up and it dries out your spot gradually after a couple of days so I really enjoy using that when I have blemishes and our last but not least product this is probably my most important product that I use um, not many people have to do things like this but unfortunately I am blessed with really bad seborrheic dermatitis and psoriasis yeah so my skin is very problematic especially along my hairline around my ears I get psoriasis think of psoriasis I get psoriasis and it's like a mix of psoriasis and seborrheic dermatitis all along my hairline to the point where it can hurt or it looks so bad so this is my baby this is a New Zealand product so this is the Manuka biotic moisturizing skin relief um, it has Manuka oil in it Manuka oil <laughs> and it is by Manuka Co so these ones here this is a body lotion but I rub this on top of my dry patches at night time before I sleep I will admit I don't do it all the time it can be quite lazy and quite bad I'm very forgetful <laughs> so when I can remember I put this on and it just really loosens up your dryness so any dry skin if you had eczema you could use the same thing Manuka um, honey is great for dry skin so when you put it on top I'll wake up the skin is all loose I can just wipe my face and it comes off and I do still have a bit of redness but it's really soft and moisturized and just very supple which is nice to have because most of the time I'm dry and crusty <laughs> so I really 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 love this product and I'm almost out so I need to get another one sometime soon but they are my holy grail skin and body products at the moment 
I am literally like a chameleon. I jump around like crazy. I'm always trying to find new products to use. I don't really have any like holy grail, always in my life type products. So if you guys have any products that you think are like thebomb.com and you think everyone should try them, leave a comment down below and let me know so I know what to try out. If you guys want to see the makeup version of this video of my 2019 makeup favorites at the moment I will link the video down below but I would really appreciate if you guys could give me a big thumbs up for this video and also subscribe to my channel if you have any other video idea video ideas video ideas <laughs> video ideas that you would really like me to try out leave a comment down below and let me know as well but I hope you guys have a really great day and I'll see you in my next video bye